Have you ever gotten mad at Google Maps for underestimating how long a road trip would take? Or telling you to turn left when it was really more of a light merge? How about for nearly leading you to an agonizing death in the desert? Or nudging nations ever so slightly closer to nuclear war? People, companies, and even governments have blindly followed Google Maps to such disastrous destinations. You'd almost think the app is getting its revenge for all the times we've asked it to look at Batman Turkey. Here are top three landmark cases in Google Map versus humanity. You remember planning to have your house demolished. It takes scheduling and meeting contractors and signing documents and a whole lot of red tape. It's not an impulse decision, to say the least. Which is why a Texan woman was a tad surprised to find that she had apparently okayed a crew to tear down her home. Lindsay Diaz came home one day to find that her life was ruined by the cookiest of mishaps. Her house had been completely demolished by Billy L. Neighbors Demolition, whose slogan is We Could Wreck the World, Jesus Saves, which is the demolition man's version of Kill Em All and Let God Sort Them Out. When confronted, the company insisted that they had been contracted to tear down 7601 Causto Drive. The only problem was that Diaz's address was 7601 Calypso Drive, which for Google Maps somehow counted as close enough. A spokesperson for Google admitted both addresses were shown as being in the same location on Google Maps, adding that the issue was fixed as soon as it was brought to our attention. Thank goodness they corrected that glitch after the demolition. That solves everything. At least now the pizza delivery guy won't get lost when he's bringing an order to the pile of rubble. The city of Sunrise, Florida, is home to 90,000 people, the NHL's Florida Panthers, and one of the biggest malls in the country. But for a full month, it didn't exist, as Google Maps had essentially turned it into that here be dragons spot on medieval maps. When people tried Googling any place in Sunrise for 30 days in 2010, Google Maps instead directed them to Sarasota, a separate town 200 miles away, resulting in a lot of confusion and a lot of cold delivery meals. And Sunrise isn't the first city Google Maps has turned into No Yearsville, others that have taken the same trippy trips to non-existence include La Jolla and Imperial Beach in California, Rogers in Minnesota, Wycliffe in Ohio, and Woodstock, Virginia. But Sunrise is still special because it seems Google Maps really wants to wipe it off itself. Mike Ryan, the mayor of the alleged city, claims that this has happened not once but three separate times with catastrophic effects. Local businesses have watched orders fall off a cliff and residents couldn't locate emergency services like police or fire stations, medical care centers, Dunkin' Donuts, etc. It felt like a bizarre novel that all of a sudden we disappeared. We woke up one morning and we didn't exist in the ether world, said one ethereal voice through the wind. Picture, if you will, a woman driving to the Grand Canyon. Hard to miss, no? But that wasn't the case for one Amber Vanhicke, who, relying on her Google Maps, went to see the iconic landmark, but instead took a turn for the doesn't exist. In 2017, 24-year-old Vanhicke had embarked on a solo trip to the Grand Canyon. In the middle of the Arizona desert, she noticed that she only had 70 miles worth of gas left in the tank. Not an issue, as her Google Maps reassured her that she was only 35 miles away from the highway. Trusting Google, she obediently followed the app to bring her safely to civilization. Instead, Google told her to turn onto a completely non-existent road, which led her to a non-existent spot on the map. And then she ran out of gas. Fortunately for Van Hickey, she was a former Girl Scout and well-prepared. With 18 days worth of water, dried fruit, and goldfish, surely one of the main currencies in the coming post-apocalypse, Van Hickey took it slow and steady. She made a giant help sign out of rocks and tried to get the attention of planes flying overhead with signal fires and a flashing headlamp, but had no luck. On the plus side, instead of encountering the family of cannibalistic mutants, she spent her desert days cooking Raymond on her dash and befriending a family of prairie dogs who came right up to her and ate out of her hand. Imagine if Pikes are made a Mad Max movie and you're close to understanding her harrowing experience.
Finally, after five days, with her supplies dwindling and cartoon buzzards probably circling overhead, she decided to hike 11 miles through the desert to get faint cell reception, then squeezed out a 40-second 911 call. Authorities eventually found her car, waited for her to come back, and were able to rescue her before any harm came to her or before she started eating her new prairie dog family. Whatever came first. There are many other interesting Google Map vs. Humanity cases, and if you want to know about them too, then please like this video and subscribe to Bizarre Truth Channel. So that I can make the part 2 of Google Map vs. Humanity, and comment down your version of Google Map vs. You. Let's share our hashtag Google Map Sucks incident and laugh hard at each other. Thank you so much for watching.